Okay, welcome to the webinar, Bitrix 24, Total Telephony. So who are we? I'm Damien Edwards, Commercial Manager of Bitrix 24 Partners Interface. And with me, I have our Support Manager, Andy Naylor. Hi guys, if you've got any questions throughout the webinar, uh, just put them in the box provided and we can have a Q&A session at the end of each section. So we're located in Sheffield in the UK and we have offices in New York and Dubai and we're able to manage all pre-sales support including uh, providing a demo of the software, uh, advising on the best edition for your business, full implementation service including customization and training. Uh, if you choose a self-hosted version then we're able to either install in your, your own server or provide a hosting solution for you and we provide telephone support. So in case you don't know, what is Bitrix24? A suite of over 35 tools for managing your business. Now more than 3 million organizations using Bitrix, available as a cloud or self-hosted solution. Commercial packages on the cloud starting from $24 a month and self-hosted solutions for the base package, um, essentially just under $1,500 for a 12 user. Uh, account. Okay, why Bitrix 24 for your telephony requirements? Well, Bitrix includes a uh, fully built in, fully functional uh, virtual phone system. We'll replace all your current phone uh, systems, whether they're virtual or desktop phones. You can also integrate with those existing systems should you choose. We're going to look at how you do, look at the different options and how you do that today. There is full integration with your CRM built into Bitrix, including income, incoming caller ID, uh, income call routing based on responsible person, click to call from CRM contacts. We'll have a look at some of that today. Full reporting, including who's making, uh, who's making calls, uh, within your business and essentially the, the overall cost is is very low, very, very low to set up uh, from $6 uh, for a telephone line and then you pay per pay uh, per call after that, but uh, uh, no infrastructure costs at all with Bitrix Telephony. Okay, what's the options? Two options, um, built-in Bitrix telephone system, which we're going to look at first, uh, and secondly, integrating with um, an existing system or a new system should you wish to purchase a virtual or physical phone system for your business. Okay, so first option, let's look at first Bitrix telephony. We'll have a look at how you set it up. Uh, how you can run that as a virtual phone system, what you can do in the CRM, and how you can how you can manage that or use use that facility on on a mobile phone using the app, and how you can do some team management as well to see who's who's active on the telephony system. Okay, let's go into our Bitrix system. Let's go into the menu on the left to telephony. We're gonna look at how you set up first. And if we go into connection. So it's good to point out that this is available on both the, the cloud and on the self-hosted version. Yeah, exactly the same functionality on both. Um, so you shouldn't have any problems on the self-hosted with this. Providing you've got server configured in the right way with the right ports, it does need some ports. It does need access to the internet to be able to um, manage this application on the self-hosted. Some businesses choose self-hosted because they want a um, closed network where uh, it can't be accessed over the internet for security. You would you wouldn't be able to run telephony if you've got that sort of kind of configuration. Okay, first thing we can do is rent a telephone number. If I go on to my telephony page, you can see we have a we already have a telephone here. here. I can rent another number. Um, we can choose a firstly we can choose a region. So from this list, um, 
pretty much every you know every place that Bitrix is available is is available on this list. You can choose your country. You can then choose a toll free, usually a toll free or a local number. Once we've selected local, we've then got the option to to select our region, and then gives us a price, and we're able to. In this case, we need to upload verification depending on the region that you choose. I think France, Germany, Ireland, um, not the UK. Um, some regions you do need to verify that you are either a uh, resident in that in that location or you're running a business in that location uh, before they'll they'll grant you a local number. We just change this to uh, UK and the UK can get mobile numbers as well. Click on local and then choose our region. Then in this case we don't we don't need to verify. So depending on which which country you're you're wanting to create a number from. So it might be that actually you want a telephone number from multiple countries, or you might want a number from a country that other than your own, you know, your own home country. You can do that, but it may be that you need verification. Yeah, a good reason for that is while we go through the setup is that you may have a sales team in in this case France. You may always also have one in the UK. So you, you can rent multiple numbers here. Uh, so. And we'll, we'll, we'll show you in a little bit how we can actually assign those numbers to specific calls, call queues uh, within each individual sales department. So, yep, you can rent as many numbers as you like in here. Yeah, and it's instant as well. So, uh, as soon as I click rent, uh, provided I have credit, uh, so the first thing you need to do is assign is actually buy credit and add that to your, your account. But provided I have credit, that number will I'll be given a number instantly, and it will be as we've got as we suggested. It will be a local number um, with this this local dialing code. So you can see that we've already got a number here. And next thing we need to do once we've rented a number is connect your existing number if um, if that's what you need to do. So um, you'll be given a number from Bitrix, which will be a local number. Your you're able to use that number in your advertising material. Um, people can dial that number, and that's the simplest way. Uh, most businesses, though, already have a telephone number that will want to connect to uh, the new, newly rented Bitrix number. For incoming calls, um, without integration, you're going to have to forward those calls from the from the um, your current number to the Bitrix rented number, and you'll do that with your other phone provider. You can also, for free, configure outgoing caller IDs. So if we click on configure no phone number here, so um, I've put my phone number in, and it's told me that it needs. To, I need to verify it, so I can confirm this number by clicking on the link here. This will call. Um, with a code, and then we can verify. We can have this number verified inside Bitrix. This will mean that an outgoing call. We can use this this telephone number as an outgoing caller ID number, so people will see this when we when we're calling them. I think it's quite important. People tend to not pick up calls sometimes if they don't recognise the number. So use if you have an existing number, connecting it is is worthwhile. Um, okay, let's just go back and have a look. Uh, so that's how we create our create our number and connect it. Let's just go back and have a look at how we configure this telephone number, what we can do with this telephone number. So uh, I've gone into my configuration settings. You can see there's quite a lot you can do on this page. We'll not run through all of them, um, but. Um, uh, IVR, we're going to have a look at in a, in a little bit. Um, number three, check for number, check for a number in CRM records. So this is quite important. We've got this one enabled. So should a number exist uh, against a contact in the CRM, we're going to do these actions here. So essentially, we want to we want to uh, we want to record. We're going to record the call to that particular contact in the CRM. We're forwarding incoming calls to this group here, so it is possible to create different groups. Uh, if I just click into group settings, we can see who's in this group settings. So we can create, as Andy mentioned, I think different numbers and have different groups, uh, group settings. So I've got one person here. We can add additional people to this group, uh, meaning that any one of these users can add 
can uh, accept an incoming call from this from this number. So it might be that you want to rent a number for sales, one for accounts, etc. Let's go back. We are going to, as you can see here, number five. We are going to save recordings of all calls. Um, it may be that you need to play a, a notification that you are recording messages, and we've got that uh, notification enabled here. We can uh, transcribe audio calls into text using integration with uh, Google Translate. Um, useful because this will allow us to search the content of calls by typing in keywords. Um, so we can do that. We've not got that enabled. That's a that's a paid service. You'll pay, I think, around five cents, um, five cents a minute, I think, for that sort of service. Uh, skipping through some of these, um, you can do you can set time settings. Um, you can at the end here record uh, use the standard greeting that's provided with Bitrix, or you can record um, your own your own recording or upload your own music as well into there so that would be the, the standard introduction greeting message okay let's go let's go back main thing there i think is just creating your cues so that the right people are picking up the phone number um, if we go into cues see we've got a couple enabled here we can we can create additional ones here and as we saw before we can give the q a we can add employees there's some of the settings you can do here around how you distribute those calls um, to the people in the queue so a quick look at ivr so uh, we'll add a new one here so this allows us to give the give it a name um, this allows us to um, add different um, uh, forward calls depending on the number that somebody's typed in uh, through a menu, custom menu system which you can build. So should they type in uh, zero, we're going to forward this call to a particular employee. You can search for an employee like this. Yeah, a common one we come across is if, like, for example, you've got a sales team, a support team, and maybe an accounts team. So you can, if somebody presses zero, you can then forward to the sales team, the people who are responsible for those calls. Uh, press one, you can forward to the members in the support team. And if they press two, you can forward them to a member of the accounts team. So it just clarifies where people are going to go and the relevant people are going to pick up that particular uh, phone call. Yeah, and it's, you know, this is all, this doesn't require any complex setup. So um, I've done it here, I can forward, if they press zero, I forward it to this one. If they press one, we're forwarding to a group here. If they press two, then we're actually just asking them to leave a voice message and we can select then who's going to receive this this voice message so very very easy to set up you can um, create your introduction message message so you're going to have to tell people what to press and what they get when they press it you type in your text into here it will convert that into audio for your uh, voice message or voice instruction okay let's have a look at permissions just going back to that IBR uh, if you are to set up a new menu. I think Damien did show you what just to where you will set that up and assign it to. So if you go back to configuring your number, then you can see here as long as you've got this uh, this checked, use IVR menu, and you can select multiple. Uh, sorry, you can create multiple IVR menus so you can select the menu from this particular section. So if you've created it, you'll see it here, and again you can assign it to different. Uh, numbers. So if you've got multiple numbers within the system, you'll be able to assign different IVR menus to that. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Um, okay. Let's just have a look at then at the end um, of this section permissions. So in fact, let's just go to balance and statistics just to just to cover this off. So you can add. You can actually see how much you have in your account. You do need to prepay. 
Um, you can add credit by clicking on this link and make a payment through there. Um, yeah, first thing you need to do is add credit to your account. Uh, I guess you know, one, of the, one of the things you need to do at the beginning also is to, is to create your permissions. Let's have a look at permissions. We have the option um, here to create different roles. Uh, once we've created the roles, we assign them to an individual user or a, a group of users. In this case, we're assigning to a, a, de a whole department. So let's have a look at a role. Um, go into quite a bit of detail about who can view call statistics, who can um, listen to call recordings, who can make outbound calls. So, for instance, if we want to restrict outbound calls, we can allow this person, people who belong to this particular role. Remember, this is this is just one of a number of different roles that people belong to this role. We can deny access to make outbound calls, or we can allow them to only call CRM contacts, because of course you can call from the CRM, but you can also click and dial any number freely in the dial pad there. Um, so you can restrict, I guess usefully, um, calls to only CRM contacts. Um, or you can allow you know, any, any number of outbound calls. Uh, if you want to restrict the set access to the settings page, then you can do that as well. Certain people are going to need access to settings, and certain people won't won't need those access. Won't need that access. Okay. So once you create a role, you create the manager role here. You can then assign that that role to a individual or a group. We're going to assign it to a department. We're going to select from the structure. Let's select the IT department. And in fact, you know, IT department will probably have an ab an administrator role, but you can choose from any of the roles that you've created to give them that access permission and then save it. And then the right people have the right access. Okay. Let's have a look then at CRM. So Bitrix Telephony is fully integrated with the CRM, as you might imagine, um, including um managing incoming calls let's let's just make an incoming call into the system so an incoming call should actually find the the, the uh, right contact in the CRM from the telephone number that um, we, we've got so we can see that the contact in the CRM is Mike Black this is the person that's calling and we can see the responsible person here is John Smith. So this is our sales guy. He's the responsible for this contact, Mike Black. You can see the company that he's calling from as well. Uh, let's just answer that call. So the call's connected, and we can see that we're now uh, live on a call. Let's hang, let's hang that. Well, before we hang that up, actually, you can see that you can forward these on. So I can then for this on to any other user within within the business. Uh, they don't have to be sat at a desk. You know, they can be on a laptop anywhere, They can, or they can even be on their mobile, uh, taking incoming calls through the mobile app. So we, we were able to um, answer a call directly in the system. If I go to my contacts now, and go find my contact, Mike Black, then you can see that this is actually the call that we just received. Uh, it was received today at this time, and we're able to listen back. So and listen back to that call recording. So all your calls are going to be routed successfully to the correct contact in your CRM record, and you'll see a history of all these calls in, calls in an activity stream down here. So. Within the CRM, if you don't know, left-hand side is all their contact information, a bit of information about who they are, telephone, email, links to the companies that they work for, all sorts of useful information. Right-hand side is any planned activity and then a stream of all their, uh, all our either notes, uh, emails, or in this case, telephone calls. We can, um, we can then, Call from the system. <clears throat> okay, and we can um, uh, outgoing so as well as incoming calls being recorded. Outgoing calls are are recorded inside inside the, the Bitrix in the same in the same way. So 
Um, let's have a look at um, call list. So what you can do here is actually you can create a call list of all the contacts that you want to contact and you can create a filter. So for example, you may have contacts that are of a particular type. So you can see here we've got contractors, we've got three, four contractors there. So if we clicked on contract type, click on contractors, and then you can see it'll provide us with a list. What we can then do is select all the list and we can start dialing that list on here. So if we click on start dialing, you can see there it's scheduled four contacts in and you can see uh, who was responsible again and the previous activity that's been assigned against this particular uh, contact. So you can press call and again, it will dial out of the system. And then you can move on to the next one. And again, you can leave comments against these calls as well. So you can see there's a comment and you can actually create a deal or create an invoice as well from these particular calls. Yeah, so um, that's, that's call center functionality. So we get a lot of inquiries about can Bitrix does Bitrix work for a call center? It, it certainly does, so you filter your lists and then you know, automatically dial one call. It will do the same same functionality. It will record the calls if you want the calls recording. You can have the intro messages and everything else we've, we've, seen, we've seen just now. Let's have a look at um, some areas where you can use telephony within automation. So, um, uh, let's have a look at lead automation first, and then Andy will show us CRM, CRM marketing. So if we go into a lead and into the automation tab, then uh, some of you might have seen this before, but essentially within the CRM, you can create automatic rules or actions here based on the stage of a lead. You can actually do this in a lead or a deal. Um, one of these... Uh, one of these rules can be, it's going to configure configure rules. One of these rules is robocall. So we can actually, we can actually based on, automatically based on the stage of a lead, we can send uh, an automatic voice uh, message to a telephone, to a telephone number. You can choose obviously write the content of your message you can choose from a very long list of different languages um, and and that's um, and that will happen yeah that will happen automatically I think if we just go back into there actually you can um, as well as being able to type the message you can also bring in information about uh, uh, lead first name yeah so we can do things like um automatically pull in information or text from the from the lead itself so we can personalize this particular message um so a quick look at then at lead automation uh, sorry crm marketing yes yeah, certainly just one thing other to touch upon on the the uh, the automation for a lead and also for a deals Demi didn't mention the triggers that you can possibly have we can also have incoming calls from the trigger. Uh, so as long as you've got the telephony uh, set up on your system, then whatever uh, telephone number is associated to this particular lead, it can actually trigger the lead stage on. Uh, so if we have a phone incoming call here, then click on save, then we can automatically move this lead automation on to the third stage here. So it is quite useful. You obviously have to have a Bittrex telephony set up and it will be associated to the number that is against this particular lead. So, so as Danny mentioned, uh, Bittrex also now has a CRM marketing package. So what we can actually do is, again, we can create campaigns, uh, not only uh, you can see here on the screen, email, SMS, and the messengers, but we can also create a, vo uh, a voice broadcasting campaign. So we can set this up. So say, for example, if we wanted to use a predetermined template, then we can create a segment within uh, the CRM marketing. So what that basically means is we are creating a list of uh, targeted contacts or leads or 
companies from your CRM. So you can filter pretty much like we did when we created a, a call center list. We can create a segment here that is relevant to what you want this voice broadcasting campaign to dial out about. So you can see here, it's making calls from our number that we've got connected to our telephony. And again, pretty much like we did on uh, the CRM automation, we can use uh, predetermined uh, tags in here. So we've got name and that will automatically pull from the the name of the particular contact or company that you've got associated to this particular segment. And if you can see here, so you can see we've got a, uh, we specify the type of voice, speed, uh, speech speed and speech volume. And once we create this campaign, we can then schedule it to be sent uh, to start dialing out at a specific time. So this is a quite a, a new aspect of Bitrix. And it's one that, again, you can use only if you've got the telephony set up within the system. OK, thanks. OK, finally, then final thing to look at before we look at integration with other systems is the soft phone. If we can um, connect. Okay, so uh, this is the Bitrix app. Um, you, you can access um, the full CRM module within the within within the Bitrix app, as well as uh, workgroups and tasks and some of the some of the features too. If I go into my CRM and search for a contact, then I can find my contact by searching at the top or I can scroll through my contacts and it is able to call. I get the option on, on an iPhone to call using Bitrix 24 or using the existing iPhone telephony, call using Bitrix and it will dial, dial the number with the app over the internet. So in this instance, um, I'm using my internet connection. I'm not using, um, not, using any call plans I have through the iPhone. So obviously there's no, there's not gonna be any charge for that. So I can make outgoing calls to contacts. I can receive incoming calls from uh, the office when the calls come in, I can have a call routed to my, to the mobile app. When I receive an incoming call on the mobile app, that routing from the office to the mobile, again, is free because it's over the internet. It's not a separate call. Okay, that is um, the telephony within Bitrix. Let's see if we've got any questions. Is there, I've got a question that's, that's come in. Uh, is there a way to actually see a full list of all the recordings uh, inside the telephony module? So instead of going to the, the actual CRM contact? Yes. Yeah, I think you can do that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got. Um, we're going to telephony, and yeah, we can see a. So I've got a list of every single call that's made, but at the top it's filtered by this user. So we're in as this user here. We can see his his call. I can take that filter out. We can add some additional filters in. Let's have a look at. Um, I mean, you can filter by call duration if you want to do things like um, like that. If you want to filter by um, call date, we want to filter by call time. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, oh, incoming and outgoing calls. So we can filter by that. I guess the key one would be calling by uh, call date. So let's call, let's let's filter by current day. Let's filter by this particular user. Let's filter by. Uh, outgoing calls. So that might be something I want to see how many calls this particular salesperson has made in this, this particular day. Uh, none. Uh, let's narrow that down a little bit, take that one out so we can see that uh, he's received incoming calls on this particular day. So he's not made any outgoing calls and successfully connected any outgoing calls, but he's received one incoming call. Um, we can see the duration of the call. 
we can play back a recording of that call as well. And yeah, and we can see who is through as well. So you can see who is who is to, sorry. So this is the contact in the CRM. Yeah, we just had a follow up of that question just with regards to who, who can get access to this. Just but I'm just thinking with regards to the access, this is when we you can you can uh, view the access permissions. You can actually I think they knew. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's just open that up in another tab. I think you can, um, if we go into this permission, I think uh, um, yeah, uh, call statistics. Okay, I think it's probably under call statistics. Not too sure, but um, you've got the options here who, to set permissions on who can view and who can update. I'm guessing I'm guessing that, that that page is called statistics. It must be. So yeah, you can. Uh, you can, but you've got a full history, call by call. Uh, every single call is uh, uh, registered in this call list. Okay, how would you? Uh, can you teach us how to connect PBX or SIP to use telef uh, telephony marketplace apps? Uh, yeah, we're going to look at that next. Okay, I've got a can we replace Ring Central calling a routing? How about incoming faxes? Okay, so I don't know the answer to incoming faxes. Uh, can we replace? Uh, uh, I'm guessing probably we don't support incoming faxes. Um, can we uh, replace Ring Central? Well, you can certainly replace Ring Central uh, if you want to replace that with Bitrix. If you, if you want to integrate with Ring Central, then that's a different different question. Uh, we can do it. I think we've done an integration with Ring Central before. There's different. You've got different options, and we're going to be looking at that in the next section. Yeah, there is a Ring, uh, Ring Central application within the App Store, so you may want to have a take a look at that. But like like Damien mentioned, we're going to uh, explore the explore that aspect of Bitrix in a moment. Okay. Yeah. So the second part is integrations, and how do we do that? So uh, I guess firstly, why why would you want to integrate with a, a, a existing or new phone system that you're going to go out and buy? Um, Bitrix includes full featured telephony virtual phone system. And so um, the, the question remains, why would you integrate? Well, I think there are some good reasons why you might want to do to do that. If you're a team of, if you're a business of 500 employees, uh, you have a phone system that all employees have access to, but you have a small team in the CRM of 25 um, who have access to Bitrix, then it would make sense that you'd want to uh, all your employees to be using the same phone system. So you might, want to, you might want to integrate that sales team who are working inside Bitrix with your existing phone system. Um, if you have a phone system that has some specific features that are not uh, exist, don't exist in Bitrix, but you still want to integrate to get the CRM benefits, then um, it might be that might be a good reason why you want to integrate. You might also have uh, have negotiated a very good call package with your provider, and you might want to continue with that uh, billing arrangement with that provider by integrating Bitrix with your current phone system. Then your bill will still come from your existing provider. So let's have a look at how you do that. Uh, first way is through the Bitrix SIP connector. Uh, second way is with pre-built app integration. And then finally, uh, if neither of those two is the right option for you, then we can build a custom integration through the, a the API. Um, so the uh, first, first, thing to, first thing to say, I guess, about, about SIP connectors is you have um, SIP phones that is different to the Bitrix SIP connector. So if you want to use Bitrix built-in phone system, you can plug in uh, what's called a SIP phone, usually quite often USB-based phones, which will plug into your laptop or desktop machine. This page here will tell you step-by-step step how to set those up, but essentially they'll plug in and they're ready to go. Um, so you can use, you could have desktop phones integrated with Bitrix uh, very, very easily and at no cost other than the cost of the, the phone itself. Second option you've got is SIP uh, connector. And so this is different. This is chargeable by Bitrix. It is 
um, fifty um, uh, fifty dollars a month, I believe. Um, this allows you to connect really your any really any existing PBX system to Bitrix. So if you have uh, if you can provide SIP trunks, you can connect your current system to, to Bitrix. Um, it would mean that all incoming calls are free, you know, inside Bitrix and outbound calls you'll pay to your existing provider in the, in the way you, you currently do. It's available worldwide. Uh, if you want to test this, then there is 60 minutes worth of phone calls available free of charge. So you can set it up, you can test it, you can make sure you're happy with everything, how it works, call quality, etc. Uh, you can do that just to confirm. In connection, go to connect your PBX and click on connect using PBX using SIP connector. Second or third option really is connect using uh, one of the apps. So if we go into the same page and click on um, click on this link here, it shows us some marketplace apps. We actually have some other integration with other systems that are not available in this marketplace app. So as a partner, we have um, integration available with 3CX um, and also free PBX, two quite popular phone systems. Uh, so if you're using anyone on the screen there or if you're using 3CX or free PBX, then integration is fairly straightforward. It can be done. Uh, I guess you would need a partner's help. We, we would we would set it up for you for around $750 and it would give you all the functionality of Bitrix, but you continue to have the benefits of your current phone system as well. Um, so I think, you know, the one we're, we're keen on, the one we, we recommend most is 3CX. If, if you have that or if you don't have a phone system at the moment or if, you, if you're prepared to change or considering buying a new phone system, we can provide uh, not only the Bitrix software integration, we can provide the full the full system um the virtual exchange the pbx the handsets um uh conference call um uh features uh, hardware sorry so uh, that's the that's really the third option can can you integrate using one of the pre-built integrations available and that would be really i think the recommended way so if you haven't got a uh, phone system that you prefer to use then you know, talk to us about 3cx we can set it all up for the whole thing. Uh, that will work very, very well. The integration is very good. The, the cost to set up is very low, as I say, $750. Um, fourth option really is to, uh, if, you, if, if neither of those is suitable for you, you're using a phone system you can't change from, you don't want to change from, it's not available as a standard app, or standard integration is not available then, uh, Bitrix includes a API with the telephony module, so we can develop integration with your current system. Um, warning, it can be expensive. Um, so depending on the size of your organization, for small businesses, it might not be viable. It can be in the region of up to $20,000 to do that kind of development work. Um, but, you know, for bigger businesses, that's, you know, that's not an unreasonable sum. Uh, but obviously get in touch with us and we'll talk through the options that you've got. Um, options that you've got, it might be that it might be that there is some pre-built integration that we can use. Just let us know what system you're using. Yeah, one of the, one of the questions we get a lot is just with regard to costs. So there is, if we just click on the end of the Bitrix website, there is actually a call rate card on here. So if you just find your region, you'll be able to see how much it is uh, a calls cost per minute to make from using Bitrix telephony. So there are quite a lot of different uh, regions on here. So we'd re if anybody wants this, we can put it in the uh, put it in the chat on here to be able to show you all uh, so you can all download it. Yeah, you can see here that this is a Vox Implant product. Bitrix, Bitrix uses the Vox Im Implant um, products. It's, it's fully integrated inside, inside Bitrix, um, but it is developed by these people, uh, Vox Implant people. Um, it's a very established um, telephony solution, as you can see, as Andy's mentioned, available in uh, probably 100 countries. Um, so, you know, um, a, good so a good solution and, and lots of different options in terms of how you use it. OK, 
Okay, let's see if we've got any questions. If I rent a number from Bitrix, can I use the same number for Viber or WhatsApp? Um, uh, well, you can. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose you actually can because um, I'm guessing, I mean, I don't know. Actually, I guess on WhatsApp, you need a mobile number. You can rent, in the UK, you certainly, you can rent a mobile number. So I don't know. You'd have to check your region. Let's just go back in um, and have a look at renting numbers. So when I choose to rent a number, if I choose the UK, I've got the option to rent a mobile number. Um, now, I don't know whether that's a mobile number that's acceptable to WhatsApp. It might be that it's a, might be that actually you get, you get given a virtual mobile number uh, with a different dialing code that's maybe not acceptable as a, as a number that can be used on WhatsApp. So I, I'm not too sure what the answer to that, to that question is. Um, so if we go to, as we can see there, we go to some of the regions, you, you're not able to, re to register uh, a mobile number. So it would, it would depend on the region you're operating in and really depend on whether WhatsApp really would accept that, that number. Just got a question about where, what happens when I receive a call on the mobile application. So if your Bistrix instance, uh, if you're logged into the mobile application, then it will actually come up on your phone. Uh, as a call, then you'll be able to answer it like any no normal call that you would on your mobile. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. If so, if if you go into if we go into a queue, um, and then if you're if you're one of these guys in the queue, oops, uh, let's go back into that queue. If you're if you're one of these uh, guys in the queue, then you'll and you're you have the app installed on your mobile. You'll receive incoming all incoming calls to this number. Uh, on on your mobile in the mobile app, you you've got the option to answer it. We mentioned earlier about the ability to be able to forward a call from uh, the office to somebody on the move on the mobile, and that not costing anything. That's that's one option. But you can you know just take a call directly on the app. So you know you can run the Bitrix. You can run your whole business on a mobile if you want to do that. And that's you know a lot of people do that these days. They don't they don't need a laptop or a desktop. You know, now, now you can rent the number, you can rent a mobile number or a landline number and receive all those calls inside your app. Of course, you're receiving them over uh, a, uh, a, a internet connection. So provided you, you know, you've got data enabled, enough data on your mobile device, then that's not costing you anything either. Okay, if I use an Asterix app, could I dial via Bitrix graphic user interface and also record the conversation, even having a caller history list? Yeah, so I mean, if uh, I use Asterix app, yeah, I mean, Asterix is a is a is a is a, is a obviously a very popular common phone system. So we we have integration with it. shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. You should be able to call from you know integrate with that call from. So you integrate with your existing provider, you call from the mobile app or the desktop to a contact in the CRM, click, call, uh, you'll get billed normally through Asterix and the call will get recorded inside Bitrix. So you'll see a full call history. Um, so I'm saying it can be, it, it can be done, shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem, but you, know, you need to really get in touch with a partner who can tell you. Uh, I, I'm telling you that if you're using free, free PBX or 3CX, we know their, their integration is very good, very easy to set up. Some of the others, um, it depends on um, your ex exact provider, but um, can all be done. Just depends on what's what's involved. Um, depends on what's involved, and that varies from uh, phone provider to phone provider. Okay, let's see if we've got any more questions. Send your questions through if you've got any more questions. We have got about 10 minutes. Uh, would you offer service to integrate other telephony providers with REST API? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So that's what we, we're here for as partners. We get involved in a lot of projects which are um, API integration through the API rather than just standard pre-built integration. So 
we indeed we would, as Ellen mentioned earlier, uh, can be prohibitive for small organisations in terms of the cost. There's, there can be can be a reasonable amount of work involved, but um, actually the solution is you know a very good solution. Uh, it might be that you prefer to do that. There's some some compelling reasons to invest in doing that over just using the standard uh, SIP connector integration. Uh, is there a fee for you dialing out on the mobile application? Um, it would just yeah. it, would, it would just use your uh, your credit that's available within your Bitrix account. So it, it's the mobile application is exactly uh, really the same as dialing in the Bitrix system. You can see here you'll be able to always see your account balance, and you can have it automatically top up if you reach a certain level as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, so we had a little look at Andy Shoda's call rates. There's a sheet there with call rates. If you want to get in touch with us, we can send you a link to that call rate sheet. Um, so, yeah, in terms of the cost, you need to pay for calls. You, you need to uh, rent a telephone number. Um, telephone numbers are $6 a month. Calls are dependent on the, the location you're calling. SIP connector is $50 a month and integration. So we, we talked about um, integration with one of the standard apps that can be around $750, um, quite low cost really, or we can do full integration with the API and can be can be more expensive solution. So in summary, uh, you have built into Bitrix a full uh, phone system, which works out of the box once you've rented a, which you've added your credit and rented your number um, so use it as a phone system, answer phones on using a headset on a desktop or a laptop. In addition, if you want to integrate with your external, external uh, physical or virtual phone system, then that can be done as well. So there's options. There is full integration with the CRM, so you can, uh, there's integration with incoming calls and you can use click to call and call recording inside the CRM. Uh, there's reporting, um, so we can report on who's making who's making the most amount of calls, uh, see a full call activity log. And essentially, you know, it can be very, very low cost if you're using the standard Bitrix phone system, it's very low cost, no investment really at all. Uh, beyond the $6 for your telephone number, no investment at all in infrastructure. So I think, you know, really integration with using one of the standard pre-built integrations at $750 is a very low cost solution as well. So that's it. We have a um, webinar at the same time every week. We look at, in coming weeks, we look at uh, just the advantages of the self-hosted product, which self-hosted product. We look at project management in detail. We cover HR. Uh, we look at one where we look at business processes and automation tools available in Bitrix to do that. Next week, uh, a new webinar uh, announcing, uh, uh, covering Bitrix's new uh, sites, uh, how to create a public websites within Bitrix. And of course, we cover uh, very popular CRM, Bitrix CRM. Uh, if you want to register for a webinar, interface.com slash webinars. In addition, um, we have a live YouTube session uh, which is not on any particular subject, you can ask any questions, we'll answer any questions that you ask on subjects of Bitrix. That's at um, 11, sorry, 10, 10 a.m. Eastern, Eastern time. 10 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday, every Thursday. No need to register for that, just turn up uh, on YouTube. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time, and hopefully we'll see you on Thursday at 10 a.m.